What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. Today we're going to be checking out the Wii. With the Wii, you do need the Xbox 360 controller. We're also going to check out the Wii U on this today. So before we load up Hyperspin, as you know, we do have Hyperspin set to auto load. You will have to exit Hyperspin. You will then turn on your Xbox controller and then you will boot up Hyperspin. This is what Hyperspin knows to now focus on your Xbox controller. So right now, as you can see, I'm able to navigate the screen. We're gonna load up the Wii, and there's two things about the Wii to keep in mind. I'm gonna load up um, Super Mario Galaxy. One button and one button only. Loading game. Okay, while this loads, just keep in mind with this is that um, you might have to go into the emulator to set a couple of settings. Um, for example, uh, I'm going to show you this one first with the Super Mario Galaxy. I think I have it set to one player. Um, if you did want to play two players, you would have to actually load up the emulator and go into like the settings and activate the second controller. Um, I'm going to again show you this game right here with one player and how we have it set. Uh, basically, I forgot which I have it set to, but either the right stick is the nunchuck or the left stick is the nunchuck. I forgot. Um, most likely this is really the D-pad and this is the nunchuck here. So again, in, in this type of game with Super Mario Galaxy, you did need the regular Wiimote and the nunchuck because the, you have a mouse that will collect the stars. So this is the nunchuck on this here. Again, Wii games do need the Xbox controller. They will not work with the joysticks. Only because in all honesty, you do need two analog sticks for the Wii and the Wii U. It's just a must you need that. So again, this right now is still loading. It's still going to boot up this, the, the actual CD. This is running an actual CD, if you think about it, the ISO. So it says kind of here how many seconds you have left. I don't really remember what I have this set to. Um, so I don't know if I have this set to one player or two players. So we'll be able to see that right now. If I, I'm going to show you both as far as the Super Mario Galaxy kind of um, game. I will show you what both look like. You know, one, one is, I'll show you what both look like. As you see, full screen, 16 by 9 stretch on this. Don't we try to skip it. This is like the warning signs. There we go. So A and B, so I have this set to A, this set to B. Okay, so I do have this set to two player. As you can see right here, player two is active because the emulator is set for two players. So while you play, this star is not gonna move. It's just gonna be there. So uh, I will probably, I'm gonna load up the emulator, but for real quick again, as you can see here, my left and my right, this is really for the, the, the nunchuck. So I'm able to load up this and play. So again, you might have to use the right stick to navigate to that. I'm gonna skip these cutscenes. So here we go, we are in the game now and I'm able to control Mario with my left, but my right stick is the star. See that? We're able to collect the stars down there. We have our A and our B. This is home. And we have the Z here. So, as you can see, I have to collect the stars. So I'm using my right thumb to bring this up. So as you can see right now, while we play, the player two star is there. If that does bother you, I mean, it is there. For me personally, it's in the way. I don't like it. So this is kind of a two player game where player two could actually collect the stars for you. As you can see, see that again. I'm using this as the actual, you know, thing. I think this is the wand. I forget. I'm sorry, but it's either that, whatever it is for the motion sensor on it. It's here. As you can see here, I could use my buttons here. So again, as you can see right now, player two, it's it's just in the way. So as you can see here, we're gonna collect the stars. So now. Any games that really use the Xbox controller, you do need the keyboard handy to escape. Only because this controller, in most emulators use all the buttons. So I can't really configure 
a button to escape. So you will need to grab a keyboard and you will need to escape out. Now we are still back, we could still use the sticks. On the menu of, of hyperspin, I have R2 set to escape, see? We're gonna escape out and on the desktops, on either one you get, there will be a button here for emulators. Once you load up emulators, the Wii, the GameCube, um, is using the emulator called Dolphin. Dolphin then, you will load up the EXE file, which is set up as just a regular Dolphin. Once you're in Dolphin, basically you go to Options, and you go to Controller Settings. So as you can see here, we have GameCube controllers, and we have Wii modes. So right now, Wii mode number two is active, it's on, it's turned on. So for example, that game, we don't want it, we're just gonna put it to none. You could always configure the files, which I don't really suggest you do, but you can always, if you wanted to maybe get a different controller, you could configure the files. But right now, the Wii mode number two is off. So we are gonna press okay. And even from here, I mean, we could open up our games, but I really don't wanna do it like that. We're gonna exit out and we're gonna relaunch Hyperspin. Again, Xbox controller is still on. We press enter. We're gonna go into the Wii and we are gonna go back into Super Mario Galaxy. One button and one button only. Loading game. I'm gonna let that load up. Again, I know it's a little bit of a tedious task, but it, it has to be done. You have to go into the um, emulator itself and remove the player too, basically. Usually I do leave it on, but games like that you know, customers do get a little bit annoyed that the star is there still. So I get that. But again, just keep that in mind. Okay, we got our game loaded now. And now we're basically not going to see player two. Again, Nintendo, you have to go through the warning signs. A and B together. And now, as you can see, there is no player two here. So now we're able to actually play this game freely. I'll load this up. You do, you can save states obviously on this. It's just, I've never gone through the first checkpoint. So I'll be right back after this loads. Same thing, the Wii emulator runs pretty nicely. The graphics are pretty good. And again, as you can see right now, player two is not there. Now it looks like the real game to play, and now if I wanted to collect the stars, I would just collect. Do, 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 do. There you guys have it. Again, for us to exit out of this emulator, you do need to get your keyboard and escape out. Real quick, while we are still talking on the Wii, let me exit out of here. Let me just show you one more thing about the emulator itself. You could load up the emulator, we could go to the options controller settings. And if you press the configure button, here you'll see everything. So here, my right stick is set to the IR. And there are games like, you know, Wii Sports, where you have the swing and you have the tilt. Let me make sure we're in focus. There are games like that where you have swing and tilt, such as like um, Wii Sports. So you will have to go into this and configure it. Um, if you leave these on, on games like Super Mario Galaxy, the right stick, that star you saw, spazzes out. It's really, really horrible. Basically the extension I have this set to nunchuck. And then here I have my left. It's my left stick is my nunchuck. There's nothing on the right. All left. Next one real quick, we're gonna load up the Wii U. Same thing again, Hyperspin is exited. We will now make sure our Xbox controller is on and then we will load up Hyperspin. Again, keep this in mind, we are making two controllers 
you know, for you not to confuse hyperspin, you have to exit at hyperspin. So on the Wii U here, you enter in, I didn't get the artwork on this. I think there's about 12 games. Um, the most shocking one to me, which that plays on this amazingly, is Super Mario 3D World. So one button and one button only. I was very surprised at how this loads up and how it plays. You're gonna get a screen like this that loads up. And we have the, the player one is set to the Wii U gamepad. I mean, mind blown at the graphic on this. I, I really can't believe it. So, new file. This you can play two players. So actually, I'm gonna do it with you guys real quick. We're gonna break out our second joystick our second Xbox controllers, I should say. And basically, I should have turned this on beforehand, so hopefully this does work. So let's see, I'm gonna do player one. We're gonna join, player two, no. See that? Well, I turn on the, the controller after the emulator, so it didn't recognize it. So we're gonna escape out just to get two player action to show you guys. So again, you do need your keyboard to escape out. Basically now we're gonna reload I'm sorry, I do need my... See, as you can see right now, I'm trying to move it here. Hyperspin is noticing the actual stick, the actual uh, Xbox controller. Hyperspin now is actually at noticing the white controller. So again, as you can see, I don't want to... I'm not really going to cut this too much, but let's do it the right way where we're supposed to actually load up and turn on both controllers. And then, as you can see here, both controllers are on. And now we're going to load up Hyperspin. That's the best thing. Again, you just saw it. I was using the black joy, the black controller, and then it thinks the white controller is player one. So it's best to make sure that we have everything loaded beforehand. So right now I have white controller as player one. We're going to go back to Super Mario 3D World. Press the button one time and one time only. Quick boot on this. And now we're gonna have two player action going on. Essentially, you could have four player action. We only have two controllers. You could always add the controllers to it. Again, I'm so used to seeing this on the laptop. On this desktop, it's amazing. So player one and player two, see that? We could change our players. We definitely need Mario, of course. Let's get Peach on this one. And we're gonna enter in, that's it. Game is set. Now we have two player Wii U action going on. This is the best game ever on the Wii U. I never beat it with my wife. We started it and then um, we never finished it. But again, big thing to notice is um, just the graphics on this are amazing. This is using Semu. Um, like I was playing Captain Toad, which we're gonna load up later on. Again, some a game like this, and when we go into the PlayStation 2, you do need all buttons. So originally I had this set to escape. But I was playing PS2, I think I was playing Grand Theft Auto, and then all of a sudden I went to go shoot someone, and then all of a sudden the game exited. So, unfortunately, yes, you do need a keyboard handy next to you. You just need it. It's, it's a must. So this here, we cannot skip this. I can't skip this. Now, there are some features on a couple of games that the Wii U had, which was like the microphone to blow into. Um, I have one of these set to the microphone blow because there is a platform that you need to like lift up. One of the buttons is set to the blow, to the mic. Again, just kind of admiring like the graphic on it. I know I don't have my screen share, but Mars is gonna pick this up tomorrow and we gotta make sure he gets it. I just wanna knock these videos out. So again, this is not really how I wanted to film it, but at least it's getting the info and the details out. So again, we do have to watch the cutscenes on this. Again, super loud. So as you can see now, we have Mario and Peach ready to go. And now, as you can see, I can move. We're gonna go right into a game just to experience it. Again, just to check out the graphic on it. It's amazing. Again, we have two player action going on. I'm able to run with my A button, but I can't do Mario. 
So as you can see here, or is it the Y? It's my Y. Okay. Y button, I'm able to run. This here, we're gonna grab this. Bring Peach closer. Actually, I'm gonna let Peach go into the bubble on this. And so we can just, oh, wow. <laughs> so Peach now is in a bubble. We can leave her there while we explore. I got my Z set up here. We have the attack. Again, just the way this plays is just unbelievable. Amazing stuff. We got a pause button. We can go up and down on this. Easy stuff. We have the, the I guess, the camera. I can't move the camera because of Peach. <laughs> and it's actually two players. So as you can see, my right stick is working. Mario is small now. And that is it. Again, to exit out of the emulator, if you want to exit out of the other way, you do have to break out the keyboard and escape out. Let's do one more again. White controller is player one. Let's do one really cool one, which is the best I've ever seen, which is Captain Toad. Uh, they finally gave Toad a game. Again, quick loads on the Wii U, which is pretty amazing. I'm very surprised at how quick it loads. You're going to get a little thing real quick on this. Sometimes this does go quick, but just to real quick admire the graphics on this desktop build. I mean, unbelievable stuff. We're able to move. I have the camera here. So, I don't know if you ever played Captain Toad, but as you can see, it does think we have a Wii U gamepad, and this works. Again, Wii U emulation. There's not that many ROMs out for it, really. I think I have about maybe 12. So, at least they gave us the main classics, the main ones. So, there you have it, guys. Wii U on the budget beast.